Equation state describes the echoes produced by an organ. And it is a relative term. The organ which produces more echoes, that is called hyperechoic or more echogenic. While another organ which produces lesser echoes, that will be called hypoechoic. In ultrasound, we are comparing the different tissues with each other and therefore they, these are labeled as hyperechoic or relatively hypoechoic. For example, in this image, if we see this is the diaphragm. The diaphragm is echogenic as compared to its neighbor liver. At the same time, if we compare the liver with the renal cortex, the cortex is hypoechoic to its neighbor, which is once again the liver. While we can also explain it that liver is hyperechoic as compared to the renal cortex. At the same time, if we compare the cortex with the sinuses of the kidney, the sinus of the kidney is hyperechoic as compared to the cortex or vice versa, the cortex is hypoechoic as compared to the sinus. In this image, we can compare the liver with the pancreas. It is very much clear that pancreas is hyperechoic as compared with the liver or liver is hypoechoic to the pancreas. At the same time, if we see the vessels, the aorta, the IVC, and SMA, and also the splenic vein, these are blackish and hypoechoic to its neighbor, which is pancreas, or even these are hypoechoic to the liver because there are no echoes produced inside the lumen of these vessels. So, if we conclude that echogenicity, whenever we are labeling an organ or any pathology or labeled within any organ, that is the comparison of the echoes which is produced. The message which I want to give to my students that ultrasound is a comparison and the term echogenicity is a relative term. Thank you for watching.